As a personal trainer, I've trained a variety of clients, so I've really encountered quite a few challenging clients. But today, the producers have thrown me the challenge of training who they deem as the world's most ill-disciplined person. And that person is none other than Xia Xue. I hate fitness, I hate exercise. I don't understand why people like it. To me, it's pure torture. Wendy? Yeah? Are you ready? No! <laughs> I haven't put my makeup. <laughs> so at least she's awake, so that's a good thing. Exercise sucks. Let me find my shoes. Okay. When's the last time you ran? Uh, secondary school probably. Oh, when you had to do the fitness test, is it? Yeah, oh no, I can't find it. I guess we have to end the program. <laughs> <laughs> so usually before I start working with my clients, I like to get a sense of, you know, what their fitness goals are. I would like to lose weight, but I know for sure I have no self-control. So if I see food that I like, I will eat it, and I hate healthy food. My last meal will typically be a supper right before I sleep. can range from like 1am all the way until 6am. And it's okay, I've come across many challenging clients who also have a very similar you know, lifestyle where they like to eat supper and you know, they really hate fitness, they hate exercising from the beginning. And they grow to like it, yeah, they grow to like it within um, a course of a few weeks. I'm very so, suspicious about that. How do you feel right. when you exercise? You feel good? You feel like nice, like powerful, like yeah. energized? Like I don't understand, <laughs> I'm just like very perplexed by it. It's not really like right after the workout that you feel like amazing, mm. but it's more like the after effects. When you start seeing results, when you start, you know, seeing that you've lost weight and your body's starting to transform, then you just feel a lot better. And you right. actually feel motivated once you see results. We're gonna get onto the weight scale. 47.4. Measure your waist. Then you eat. No! Don't lie, really? I'm really? sure it's making other people like very happy to see that I'm just as fat as them. It's okay. <laughs> I've actually gone ahead to order you seven days worth of food. They're very high in protein, moderate carbs, and they're pretty low fat. Because I know if I give you like a meal plan of, you know, chicken breast and all these healthy salads and clean mm. food, you might not go and I won't. And, I 100% won't. Hopefully, I want you to focus not just on the way you look, but also on the way you feel mm. uh, through these seven days. So for day one, I'm going to lead Wendy through an intense home workout. It's going to be a combination of strength training as well as cardio. I actually feel really, really honoured right now that I get to be the one to get you to exercise oh for the very first time so it's near miraculous I tell you guys don't put too much pressure on hips when you're coming back push from your heel oh okay so come down push from the heel good oh my god keep that's going, keep going keep going I don't think it do this for 30 seconds keep more. going is it 30 already no not yet <laughs> I think the good thing about Tian is that she actually let me try out a lot of variety of different sorts of exercises even though we were very limited to only a home environment and we didn't have any equipment or stuff like that 70% of at least all these things are like completely new to me I've never tried them before I'd rather give uh, uh, birth again 15 seconds more Think of those abs, think of the lean body Oh my god, I hate Tian so much <laughs> You have me for the next 7 days I think the most difficult thing is to actually identify her motivation behind working out. She did mention though that this is probably the heaviest she's ever weighed. So maybe that can be that added push to get her to actually want to make the change. I've got to say you're doing pretty well for your first time. And right. I think the first session is really for me to get to understand your fitness level. Okay. Very low. It only gets easier. Last two, come on. Hands flat on the ground. Flat, flat on the ground. Up, in. Up. Up, up, up. Jump. Last one, last one. One more, come on. One more, one more. Oh my god! One more, one more, yes. one more. <laughs> Out, in, up, oh. and you're done. Okay, okay no more. Okay. Mama, please. Okay, I think we're gonna stop right here. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, that's the best news I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> okay. Even better when Mike asked if I would marry him, this is the best news I've ever heard. <laughs> oh I'm my so gosh. happy. <laughs> I had a very, very good nap after that. I just went back to sleep and I was just like, oh my god. I think I slept for 16 hours that day. I was very not productive. I'm trying out my first meal for the day and this is the kimchi chicken thai. It smells really good. So I'm gonna watch my palace show and eat it at the same time. It was like a lot better than I thought it would be. It's very tasty. So I'm quite surprised. It's pretty good. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the meals. Hopefully I can keep to this diet. I actually messaged Wendy earlier today at around 5 o'clock to schedule our sessions for this weekend because I know that if I tell her to work out alone she's not gonna do it. I did ask her what time tomorrow but she hasn't responded. I hope that she sticks with the program for the rest of the weekend. 
but we'll see. This is very 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 bad. So my bad friends have influenced me to go and eat Mongo Nasi Lemak where they know I cannot resist the fried chicken. Oh no, sorry Tian. Tell me why I deserve to eat this. You would have eaten it anyway. Therefore, because you did some workout today, you have actually come a very long way. He's <laughs> like the devil on my shoulder. <laughs> Terrible. This is my supper, my low pain plus one fried chicken drumstick. Usually, I would have that anyway, so I think I'm doing very well. So, it's day two of Wendy's training program. I am having my first meal of the day after bringing Dash to the swimming pool. Normally, I would bring some terrible snacks that are very unhealthy, but instead, I took my meal here. It's a chili fish with lentil that's all I could eat because it was so spicy this is like really like next level spicy eat until my whole face is so mucus yeah. so the time now is about 5 o'clock in the morning after that slap I actually went out to um, play mahjong first at my friend's house and his mother offered me some I don't know why she had it but pineapple tarts and <laughs> I'm sorry Tian, but I ate 3 or 4, I cannot remember And then she offered me these chocolates that were like mahjong towels It was too cute so I ate one After mahjong I actually went to um, another friend's house They had a lot of food and it was a mooncake festival So I was being a good girl, I didn't really eat that many mooncakes But she had these like Kyoto grapes right that were like fucking delicious it was amazing so i ate a lot of it while we were playing board games oh my god i really am the world's most like ill disciplined person this is very bad very very bad i don't think anyone would do as bad as me I just i can't resist food man i see it in front of me i'm just like oh my god i need to eat that shit I was supposed to go jogging That didn't happen The whole day I did exercise My muscles feel pretty achy Yeah, so tomorrow Tian said that she's coming over to my place And I'm not looking forward to it I hate exercising so much And I know what she's talking about About it getting easier It's not getting easier It's getting worse and worse I'm on my way now to Wendy's place I asked if she had stuck to her diet And she said no uh, Not at all Last night I went out and I had snacks at my friend's place so, I don't know. I am going to force her to do an extra round of workout because that's her, her mini punishment. Hi, Randy. Hi. <laughs> she, she, she like dreads me coming over. Do you want to do some exercise? Yeah, Dash, you want to join us? <laughs> squat, squat. <laughs> That's not bad. Mike was actually really, really excited. He always likes this kind of fitness stuff lah. So he did it with me and I guess the workout was kind of a pretty good bonding session. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, 10 seconds more. Push, push, push. Get those tight abs. Two, one, and rest. Oh my god, it's really cramping. <laughs> come on, Mike, let's do it. Two, finish strong and rest. Oh. Oh my god, that was so hard. Okay, yeah, my weight. Yeah, I can do this. Boop. Boop. <laughs> I think actually the day before was a bit harder because I really hated the jumping jacks and the burpees. So today was a little bit less of each of them. Are you surprised? That she completed it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised she didn't yell at you or tell you to leave. Yeah, I know, right? I'm impressed. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Did it help that Mike was there today? I think it helped a little bit in the sense that it made time pass a bit faster. You have more distractions so you don't think about how miserable you are. Mm -hmm. And how you get here and <laughs> how you get to the network. <laughs> well, you did a really good job today. Are you hungry now? Yeah, are you leaving already? Okay. Yeah, you are really stressed. <laughs> I'm just done with day 3 of training Wendy. And I think she did a really awesome job today. She kept saying, you know, I can't, I really, really can't do it. But she actually was able to shuttle through the entire workout. And I really think it helped a lot that Mike was there. At the end, he even told me congratulations <laughs> for making Wendy actually complete the workout. Tian kind of like slowly pushed me to go beyond what I thought I could do. I do sense that as we go along the set, I can endure a little bit more of it. I think these are too easy for you, right? No! Last one. I'm wow. dying here. Okay? okay? The best would be if you can actually get a post-workout meal in. People feel that, you know, if I work out and then don't eat after that, your body's gonna like be burning more calories. Mm. But actually, the secret is that your muscles are put under so much pressure, you need to eat to repair them. And then when your body repairs, that's when your body burns. I feel so accomplished as a personal trainer when I get to deal with, you know, ill-disciplined clients and actually get them and see them actually want to and like willing to eat well after a workout, so I feel happy.
happy. So it's day number five of Wendy's week of getting fitter. I actually gave her a rest day. She told me that she's feeling really sore, which is expected because she worked out two days in a row. So I'm super proud of her. And I think that today she deserves a good rest. Day five, I was more disciplined. I met a client at Marmalade Pantry and the food there is pretty nice, but I resisted. I managed to say I don't want it and I only ordered a smoothie. Oh, and then the client ordered truffle fries. That's not my fault, okay? And it's just in front of me. And then she was just like, you want to eat some? And I was just like, okay, fine. So I took a few bites of the truffle fries. After that, I came home and I had the kimchi chicken. That was all I ate for that day, which is very, very good. Yay! It is the final day of eating healthy and exercising for Wendy. Today, she told me that she's going to work out independently. And I was thinking, you know, how can I make exercising suck a bit less for her? And I just remember the other day when she was exercising with Mike, she was having a lot more fun. So I sent her this final program where she can work out with Dash and also stay active. Hopefully, she does it. Today is going to be your weigh-in day, so we're going to see your results. But how is your body feeling? Um, my body is still feeling like a little bit sore but I think in a good way. Sore reminds you that you have exercised so you don't feel so guilty about just kind of being a slob. Overall, there's definitely a lot of change in my lifestyle. I think now I am equipped with the knowledge of what I'm supposed to do. In the past, I don't even know. I learned how to make use of the things around me like <laughs> stupid chair or like you know just easy things like doing planking and stuff. You will be proud to know that sometimes I tend to like incorporate that into my lifestyle. Sometimes when I'm like using the phone at night um, on the bed and I would like try to plank on the bed a little bit while I'm using it. Or like yesterday I went to an event where they gave me this vase of flowers. It's quite heavy because it has water inside and stuff right. So like I was doing the lifting like walking and lifting at the <laughs> like same time. Like bicep curls with yes, your flower vase. In the past, I was just like, oh, fuck this stupid flower. But now I'm like, okay, maybe this flower can be of some use to me. Yeah, great. I mean, that's awesome because at least you're incorporating some level of physical yeah, activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she actually did a great job because this is her very first time exercising, you know, taking on any kind of program like this. And the fact that she even woke up, showed up, did the workout and completed it is a huge success for me. It was really a pleasure training you and to teach you all these exercises. You, you serious, huh? Yeah, really, really, really. It was... Was really, I'm, not, I'm not lying, this was great, you know, like hear you saying that you're actually starting to incorporate it into your day-to-day. -day. You know, that is like the small baby steps that is very... Be careful, very uh. next time you see me, uh, I'm like going to be more fit than you. Yeah. Let's get on the weighing scale. Oh, 47.1. She's lost 2 inches around her waist because wow. she's 26 inches today. But then again, numbers aside, it's only been a week. It's going to take a lot more time for you to see a significant change in your weight. I think what's most important about this whole experience was the fact that you started to exercise and the fact that you started to be more aware about healthier eating habits. I believe that if you do start making these small changes to your lifestyle, you're going to see a huge difference in the way you look and also the way you feel. Really? Yeah. Gonna be the hottest influencer. <laughs> yeah. That's all we have for today's episode. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every single time we post a new video. Download the Click Network app so you can get early access to most of our videos before they hit YouTube. Take care, guys. 